Good afternoon, my beautiful people of the internet. Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an update video telling you guys what's going on in the world of Andrew, the world of the channel, the world of tomorrow. I don't know. So, right here, I have a box, but we're going to get into that box later on. So, let's discuss. First of all, as I, well, I can't talk. As maybe some of you noticed, I had to take down my rotisserie channel documentary video, which is such a fucking shame. That video turned out great because of copyright reasons. I didn't get a strike, but it was limited viewing because some one of the corporations, some song bullshit, something happened. They did not like what I was doing, so I took that video down because. I can make a better one later. I still have the master copy on my iPad, so I'm safe if I want to re-upload it, but right now, I just don't want to deal with copyright bullshit, and I don't know how it works, but I think if you get a claim, the person gets notified and they can do something just to be careful. I don't think I'm going to get a strike, but now I can, obviously. The video's gone, but if they're going to start limiting viewership in countries blah 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 it's not something i want to deal with sorry guys if you haven't watched that one it was a great video i had a lot of fun making it but i still have it so i can re-upload it whenever i feel like it or <sighs> i'll figure something out i'll get it re-uploaded uh, re uh, i cannot talk i'll get it re-uploaded eventually i promise but or something very similar to that and yeah it blows what do you think about this anvil Help me. I'm begging you. How the fuck does that have anything to do with this situation? You creepy fucking doll. But, whatever. So, on the other front about my camera equipment getting stolen, I got some good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news, of course. The bag's gone. We've checked in with Lost and Found for about a week now. Still nothing's been turned in, so... I've pretty much decided to consider it all loss and yeah some financial fun but just say I have some pretty awesome parents that helped me get this one so yeah <laughs> we're back in business bitches we are back in business alrighty can I take this out without freaking destroying the package is that possible apparently not oh maybe oh there we go so like the Hero 9 I previously had, the Hero 10 also comes in this nice little carrying case. So, without further ado, let's open this motherfucker. So, hallelujah, we're back in business. <laughs> so, a USB Type-C cable, wonderful. Uh, some sort of mount, a battery. I still had one battery for my old one, and I had this one, so I've gone from five batteries to two batteries, so my extremely long, like, three-hour vlogs will not be happening anytime soon, but at least we're getting somewhere with this. So... Yeah, bear with me guys, we're working on it. A new mount, which is good. I still have my stick and all that other stuff. And, get out you mother. Another GoPro screw, so, great. These things are really freaking fragile. So, it's really annoying, irritating, and bleh. And last but not least, my friends, I give you. The GoPro Hero 10. Which I said I would never get this camera because the 9 was very sufficient, but obviously my 9 kind of went 
bye bye so yeah it pretty much looks identical to the nine except that it says 10 and the text is blue so wonderful supposedly i'm not a hundred percent sure i know oh yes i know this is like a fetish for some of you people for some reason yes What I've heard though, this camera actually has a some sort of layer on the lens that lets rain drip off and water. So that would be awesome for when we do our videos in the rain and all that. Because with my old GoPro, I always noticed rain falls on it, it smudges the image. So hopefully this thing will get better image quality, just better all around stuff. I'm not saying the 9 was bad. I was very happy with the quality from the 9, but... With the GoPro subscription, this thing only cost me about $350. So, yeah, I'm not complaining. So, we're back in business when it comes to vlogging. And, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. It kind of makes the, I had to take my rotisserie channel video down, kind of tolerable. <laughs> the first power on. GoPro. Oh, you can see my ugly mug in the camera. English. Legal stuff. I agree. Yes, you can have my location. And we'll set you up in the quick out later and I'll be texting. Well, that was fun. Yeah, new vantage point. So, yay. So, like I was saying before my camera decided to follow me, yeah, we'll set that up later, and I'll test it, hopefully, oh, that does not look good, that does not look good, mm. oh, now you get to see, oh, oh, fuck me, all right, how am I, oh, bitch, 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 god damn it, I should have, hmm, Okay, I'll just crop this desk out, I guess. You won't see it because I'm going to crop it out, but why am I even bringing it up then? Because I can see it in the camera feed and it's bugging me to no end. So that's why I'm bringing it up. So, yeah. GoPro. A bunch of manuals. And instructions. If you don't know how to use a GoPro... Yeah, they're pretty self-explanatory, and you need some serious help if you don't know how to use one, because you click a button, and that's it. <laughs> but yeah, well, says the one who put the battery in the wrong way when I did my Hero 9 unboxing back in December, which was pretty hilarious, but whatever. Whatever, 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 Annabelle. What do you think about our new toy here? What do you think about our new toy? I know things no one knows. What the fuck is wrong with you? <clears throat> Sorry. Still don't have much of my voice left. I keep feeling better than I go do a long video and lose my voice again. So yeah, not fun, not fun at all, but we'll survive. We always do. We always do. So, yeah. Little complaint though, I wish this case had a bit more like a section to put the GoPro in and that kind of stuff. Little things. People says the battery door on the 10 feels like plastic compared to metal. Oh, bitch, uh, I guess it has turned into 4K cocks now, so whatever. I love it, though. <laughs> I am so happy. I know. I'm very ecstatic. Oh, yes, and because... Where is this thing? 
oh yeah, right here in this little envelope, they gave us something very nice and very helpful. Ladies and gentlemen, a 32 gig SanDisk micro SD card. Bitch. I'll be putting my, where is it, is it up there? No, it isn't, but I'll be putting my 128 because I got two of them. They were $14, so of course I got two, and thank God I did because the other one's somewhere in Toronto, most likely at a pawn shop, but yeah, so we can use that, which is very good indeed. So, boxes. Say if I keep this cable and actually get like a lightning to USB adapter, I can hardwire it into the phone or iPad and... Yes, my iPad has lightning. I have a 2017 iPad Pro, so all you motherfuckers with USB-C iPads, shut your mouths. Please and thank you, because that'd be much appreciated. But yeah, like I said, if I keep this, I can put that in, use a hard wire connection, and the videos transfer faster. So, yay. <laughs> so, what else is there to talk about? Yep. So tomorrow I'm going to be testing the GoPro and I think today I'm just going to take a little break, relax, enjoy myself, other than this video obviously, and tomorrow we'll figure some shenanigans to, to do, and yeah, I'm kind of excited to test this new camera out. I'm happy I have a camera again, that because vlogging like this was a freaking nightmare. Because I had to hold the camera like this the entire time, it was like, ooh, I know this is my Pro Max, but... I usually just use my 13 Pro, which says smaller and a bit more easier to... What the hell's that? Weird, I, oh, I just felt something vibrate on the ground. I was like, my phone's not there. My phone's right here and my other phone's recording. Yeah. I got some sort of message, but... Yeah, might be something from downstairs. I'm not sure. But, yeah, that's that. So we're going to be testing things out there. I'm going to start my work on my Joy Manufacturing documentary. Uh, hopefully I can have a trailer out to you guys by week's end. And also try to figure out how I'm going to get my Rotisserie Channel documentary back up and running. Because that was such a great video. I am so pissed. But like I said, your boy does not have time for copyright bullshit and all that stuff. So that... We'll be back, eventually. Eventually. But, yeah. There's not much else to talk about. I just want to let you know I got a new camera. All that stuff. Oh yeah, this camera also came with the GoPro, like $60 a year plan or whatever it was, which is nice and make things a bit easier, I guess. So hopefully, yeah, so it comes with cloud storage and all that. Hmm. Supposedly I had the month trial on, so that's how those two, three videos actually got saved to the cloud before my thing gone. So supposedly I had a month subscription with that. So I didn't even know I signed up for that thing. Like some sort of trial, some sort of motherfucker bullshit going on. I have no idea, but yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure what's going on but all i know is my three toronto videos were saved which is good but yeah i already told you that in the story update when i lost all my stuff so why am i telling you again because i'm a naughty bitch i'm a naughty bitch that's why Okay, the maniacal laughter is starting to get back to me. So why do I keep doing this? Like, I feel better, I overdo it, then I get feel sick again. Bitch. <sighs> so, yep, yeah, that's all there is to say. GoPro. Creepy doll. Oh, and wait a minute. We always have the creepy doll. But that is that. So I guess thank you for watching. And actually, thank you for putting up with the shaky, unstable quality of video for the last couple for the last week at least, I really appreciate it because I didn't want to leave you guys without any content, but it was really hard to do without my camera equipment and that kind of stuff. So 
I'm happy to say we're back in business. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So like always, live life to the absolute fullest. And goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.